This week on Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use combined sets. So this is going to show you the top customers that are in the top 10 of sales and in the top 10 of profit. So we can see where we potentially want to reward our customers using this combined sets method. So first thing we're going to do is going to bring customer name to rows. We're going to add sales in. We're going to sort by sales. And we're also going to add profit in. Now, currently, you can't really see much. You can take a quick look at the top 10. You can then sort the profit and take a look at the top 10 and hope that you get some answer. Now, you could also highlight up to 10. I'm not counting and group them or create a set. But the best way to do this is if you go to customer name, create, set. If we use all, this is going to be our top 10 customers by sales. And we're going to use this top option. So if I go by field and change this to sales, hit OK. Now I'm going to bring this in and drag that onto colour. Now we can instantly see our top 10 customers based on sales. Great. And now I want to do the same for profit. Now I know this one is already here, so I'm just going to delete that and show you how I create this. So now I already have my top 10 customers. I'm also going to cheat. Click the little drop down, duplicate, and then we're going to edit this set. This time we're going to just say by profit in the top and change this to by profit here. Click OK. And then if we go to the sum of profit marks card and drag in my top 10 customers by profit, you can then also see the top 10 customers by profit. So if I sort this axis, you'll be able to see the top 10 profit customers. Now with this, you can also now see these are the ones with the top 10 profit and the top 10 sales. But I want to just remove these blue ones because I only want to focus in on my top 10 of each. So if I click on both of them, I'm hitting shift on my keyboard. I right click, create combined set. Now there's a lot of different options here. You can either look at all members in both sets, which is going to look at you know, bringing back both of the top 10 sales and the top 10 profits, regardless of which set they are in. You're going to look at the shared members in both sets, which is the option that we want to look at today. Um, this is going to only bring back the members that are in both sets. The um, the next option is the accept the shared member. So it looks at the top 10 customers by profit and then the top 10 customers by sales. So this doesn't include any of the ones that overlap with the sales. And this one doesn't include any that overlap with the profits. So you'll be able to see the two different options. But like I said, we're going over the shared members in both sets. So this is top X customers by profit and sales. Hit OK. Now if I go back to the all marks card and drag this onto colour, you'll be able to see that we actually only have these six names that are in the top 10 for sales and in the top 10 for profit. So if I sort this by sales, you'll be able to see that actually um, Ken Lonsdale and Sean Miller wasn't in the top 10 for profit. So therefore we only want to look at these six people. We can also then drag that onto filters, which is then going to purely um, look at the um, members in the set. And we can also change this to members in or out of set. So you can either look at members in or members out. So members in, is going to do the same but then if you change this to members if you edit the set sorry edit the filter and change it to out 
this is then going to look at all of those other customers that don't are not inside the top 10. So again, I'm just going to show members in set, hit all. Now this is just focusing purely on that. Take that filter off and we can still see our top customers by sales and by profit. That's all for this week. Stay safe.